So one characteristic of modern electronic designs is that they are using serial buses to communicate from chip to chip, board to board. Um, serial buses offer a lot of advantages over the um, older style of parallel buses, um, both in terms of reduced space on a printed circuit board, um, but also in some ways um, a level of performance that um, can be delivered. So, of course, having a serial bus communication is, is very good for the design, but it's, it is sometimes uh, difficult to debug when things go wrong. So what we're looking at here on the screen of the uh, Picascope 5000 scope is uh, transmission of SPI, so Serial Peripheral Interface Serial Data. Uh, we're seeing a few packets of information here. And what we could do is freeze the display, zoom in a little bit in time, and we can look at um, the characteristics here of the the beginning of the beginning of the the packet. So we can look at the the data information here on the blue channel, the clocking information on the red channel, and the chip enable information. So it's um, so SPI normally is uh, chip select low. So when the when the green channel is low, then the data is being clocked with the red channel and the actual data is what's there on the blue channel. So SPI is an addressable bus that is controlled over the chip select. So an engineer might perhaps be able to look at the edges on the clock and understand from there what is the information that is being transmitted on the data channel. But that's actually pretty hard work and rather error prone. So it's much better if we could have the scope do it for ourselves. So in the menu here we have tools and then something called serial decoding. We enable the serial decoding capability here and by, what, by the way this is something that is included as standard with Picoscope. There's, there's no extra money that's required to unlock this capability and we see in here a list of the serial protocols that are provided with Picoscope. So we've got protocols like ARINC, 429, uh, CAN, LIN, um, FlexRay, I squared C, I squared S, the audio bus, RS232, and of course the one that we're interested in here, which is SPI. So I'll select SPI, and the system automatically looks. It knows that the data, I've told it that the, the data is coming in on channel A, so it's then looking at the next channels on for the clock and the chip select, which it correctly finds as channels B and C. It sets the thresholds automatically, accordingly. And to begin with, we'll look at that decoded data just as an element in the, in the graph display. So we'll OK that. And now what we see, in addition to the waveforms, we see hexadecimal representation of the data that is being transmitted on those waveforms. And I can expand the screen a little bit, see that in more detail. And um, it's, it's now very easy to see what the data is. C0, 0D, 8D, 4D, and so on. So, so far so good. That's, um, that's a good start. It's going to help engineers a lot to understand what the data flow is in their system. But a software engineer would typically prefer something in a, in a listing rather than a time domain representation. So for that we can add something called in-table decoding. And when I do that, the Picoscope screen is split into two halves and the top half of the screen is now the same as it was before but the bottom half has got a tabular listing of the serial data that we were looking at previously. So, for instance, now if I looked through the, the listing in the tabular display at the bottom, I may find that one of those uh, packets was an error. And by highlighting it and double clicking on it, it highlights in the graph display 
exactly where that, um, where that pack packet is aligned to the waveform that, um, that is the transmission of the data. So it, it enables us to correlate data errors to signal integrity errors that are due to waveform errors on the device under test um, very easily and very accurately. So it's um, an extremely powerful way of debugging systems that, um, that have got problems with uh, serial bus transmissions.